Hello and welcome to the semi-finals for Category 1 of the Sakshi Arena 1 School Fest Pelby presented by Duke Swafi in association with Trips International School Rajamandri. I am your B Master Pooja. Before we start, I would like to congratulate all of you for making it through to the semi-final stage of this competition. All the very best for this round. Now, let's go through the basic rules. This is a written round with 30 words. You will be given the word and its meaning. I will pronounce each word at least twice. So please listen carefully to the word and its meaning before writing down your answers. Also, please write your answers only in capital letters. It will be easier to grade your papers. You can either use a pen or a pencil to write. And at the end of the round, we will go through the entire list of words once again. So, even if you haven't heard a word or are confused, don't worry. Just wait for the recap at the end of the round. So, are you ready to begin? That's wonderful. Let's start immediately. Your first word is allege. This word means to claim or assert that someone has done something illegal or wrong, typically without any proof. The word is allege. The word is allege. And now, word number two is business. This refers to a person's regular occupation, profession or trade. The word is business. The word is business. Word number three is deceit. It means the action or practice of deceiving someone by concealing or misinterpreting the truth. The word is deceit. The word is deceit. And now, word number four is drizzle. This means light rain falling in very fine drops. The word is drizzle. The word is drizzle. Word number five is elite. This refers to a select group that is superior in terms of ability or qualities to the rest of a group or society. The word is elite. The word is elite. Word number six is 
essence. This refers to the intrinsic nature or indispensable quality of something, especially something abstract, but it determines its character. The word is essence. The word is essence. Word number seven is foreign. It means of, from, in or characteristic of a country or language other than one's own. The word is foreign. The word is foreign. Word number eight is humor. This means the quality of being amusing, especially as expressed in literature or speech. The word is humor. The word is humor. Word number nine is knuckle. This refers to a joint of a finger where the fist is closed. The word is knuckle. The word is knuckle. Word number 10 is prism. This refers to a solid geometrical figure whose two ends are similar, equal and parallel rectilinear figures and whose sides are parallelograms. The word is prism. The word is prism. Word number 11 is receipt. It refers to the action of receiving something or the fact of it being received. The word is receipt. The word is receipt. Word number 12. Dungeon. This refers to a strong underground prison cell, especially in a castle. The word is dungeon. The word is dungeon. Word number 13, enthusiasm. This refers to an intense and eager enjoyment, interest or approval.
the word is enthusiasm the word is enthusiasm word number 14 fragile this means easily damaged or broken the word is fragile the word is fragile word number 15 is oath this refers to a solemn promise often invoking a divine witness regarding one's future action or behavior the word is oath the word is oath and now we have reached the halfway stage of this semi-final let's take a quick break so that you have a moment to relax you can use this time to go through your answers and I'll be seeing you soon.